Hello and welcome to Buzz Plays. In one of my previous how to videos, I showed you guys how to install the Sfax Pure BDCraft for vaults. Um, now, it, I did notice that uh, there was a few textures that were missing, um, and also people have also commented on uh, textures that were missing from that uh, from that video. So what I thought I'd do is I'll show you guys a quick update um, and get show you guys how to actually update uh, it fully. Um, I also believe uh, on the BDCraft website they've actually updated it and the actual website themselves so it's a lot easier to find. So I thought I'd show you guys, I'll put all the links in the description like usual and uh, hopefully you'll find this helpful. So obviously the first thing we need to do is uh, load up our Internet Explorer, uh, Firefox, um, Google+, Plus, uh, Google Chrome, whatever it's called, um, whatever you like to use. Um, obviously me, I like to use Internet Explorer, as uh, you guys that have probably watched some of my other videos know. Um, and then literally we're going to just search for BDCraft. So BDCraft and it be your top link here. So just click on there. And it'd be the same as what we usually have to do. We go to um, get it to download the actual Sfax uh, BDCraft to start with. Um, now, I believe Volts is using 1.7, uh, 1.4.7. So we're going to download that one. Um, it'll take you to add fly, um, just let the countdown go down. Um, I've never had any problems with any of these sort of. Uh, external site downloads so but uh, we're going to save this to our desktop so we want to go to uh, where is it to desktop and we'll just keep it with the same name so we'll download that and you can see there is already downloaded so we'll close that one and now uh, what they've done is if we go to the top here you've got patch and you can actually download the textures for each individual mod now so you've got your build craft here you've got better than wolves um you've got the bees one down here somewhere there extra bees void store uh, ender storage so you can actually download each individual texture uh, uh bd craft texture now for the mods that you've got installed um and this is the little update that i believe they've done because i've not actually seen this before um, but to get all the textures we need for vaults, all we need to do is on the little top bit here where we've got all mods and uh, mod packs. If you click on mod packs, um, it opens it up for all your different mod packs that's out there. So you've got Feed the Beast, which is the one that the Yogs cast is actually playing on at the moment for their Yog, um, Yog server that they've done. Um, you've got the Tech It Classic, uh, Tech It Light and you've got the vaults. So all we need to do here is if we click on the vaults details and then we click on the same one as we got previously so it would be uh, 128 times so we we'll download that one again it will take us out to a external site um, and we'll save this one to the desktop as well so we've got Sfax there, this one's vaults so save that and that download is complete as well. Um, now you can you should be able to see. Is there any way? No, they haven't actually added it in by the looks of it. Um, I thought there was a way you could actually see what mods are actually um, supported by the texture pack, but um, obviously not. Um, so now that we've got those downloaded anyway, let's go back to our desktop, and that's the first one you need, which is the main Sfax uh, BD Craft. Um, textures and we've got the vaults one here so I'm using WinRAR and all we need to do is we open up uh, Sfax uh, Pure BD Craft into WinRAR uh, WinRAR should I say and you can see here we've got all our, of our textures like usual so let's uh, slide that one down a little bit and then let's get our vaults one and we open up our vaults one as well and you can see here we've got the basic components and um, the code chicken which I believe is the like mini map and stuff like that and all we need to do with these is if we highlight them all and then drag and drop into the Sfax folder uh, press OK on that and it'll update them all and put them all in add them in there so that vaults one we can delete 
and the Sfax Pure BD Craft one, you can rename it if you want to, so you know that is your Volts one, or uh, do whatever you like with it. But um, that's the one we need. And if we go into our Start menu and do App, so it'd be Percentage App Data Percentage, and you get your Roman folder. So just hit Enter there. You can see here it brings you into all your um, roaming folders, and we want the tech it, uh, tech it, uh, technic even. Uh, we want vaults, and you can see here we've got the texture pack folder. As you can see, I've already got mine already in here, so I won't bother putting it in again. But if I click on there, you can see it's got exactly the same folders as what is in the other one. Um, so if I open that one as well, you can see here it is it completely uh, exactly the same even. Um, all the folders are the same. So let's close those down. Let's close that down. And if I open up my tech, uh, Technic Launcher, um, people that haven't done it already, update your tech, uh, Technic Launcher. Um, they have done an update and it does seem to run a lot better a lot smoother uh, as you can see the launch has completely changed as well so let's uh, actually launch into vaults um, hopefully it won't take too long uh, let's delete that one and let's delete that one because I don't actually need those while it's uh, loading so as you can see um, I actually updated this um, before I released my last video um, maybe the video before that as well. So uh, you guys be, uh, will probably have noticed that I've updated the textures for things like the mass fabricator. I think it was uh, the enrichment chamber. I think was missing one possibly. Um, but yeah. So if we go into my vaults world, um, I have got two other episodes already re uh, recorded, waiting to be released, um, which will be on Tuesday and on. Thursdays which is when I release my videos um, so if you do see anything in this um, that you haven't seen me make yet that'd be why um, I think I might have three videos actually already recorded ready to go but um, yeah so you can see uh, see here in the chat it's got that um, it's found some updates for different um, mods actually in vaults now when I've tried to download those it actually broke the um, game I'm not sure what happened there but if we look here we got the bio generators got the texture we got the battery boxes got all these textures um, the crusher now has got its proper texture um, the enrichment chamber has got a texture so has the metallurgic infuser and the smelter has got the same I think that's the basic one I don't think that's actually been updated actually through Sfax so I will have to double check that one um, but we've got the coal generator, the advanced battery box, um, tinker table there. Um, so as you guys can see here, all the textures have been updated. Uh, oh crap. Uh, didn't realise how close to the edge I was. Um, yeah, uh, like that. Obviously the grass is the standard uh, Sfax textures. All the zombies and um, creepers and stuff have their proper textures as well. Um, and I've had to, I haven't had to modify any of the uh, mob uh, textures like I did in the previous one for Tech It. Um, so I hope that's been helpful anyway. Like I said, I'll uh, add all the uh, links into the description for you guys so that you know um, where to go. You can just easily click on it. And um, yeah. Uh, so if you if this video is helpful you there's any other how to's you'd like to know please leave a comment in the description uh, please subscribe if it was helpful I do do like as I did say I, I have got a vault series which I'm running at the moment um, and I release my videos on a Tuesday and a Thursday um, so yeah please subscribe for that so you don't miss any of those episodes um, and uh, I will chat to you all next time